What is going on everyone? Where is the camera? There it is. What is going on everyone? It is Maki here coming to you guys back with another video. In today's video, I want to discuss about braces. What in particular about braces? These are the three biggest benefits that I have seen from getting my braces. So I'll go back to a couple of years ago, actually just growing up. As you can see in the photo that's about to appear right now, uh, yeah, that's me. Um, little chubby fat fuck with uh, buckled teeth. However, bringing back into the video right now, back right now, I mean, going back into November of 2018 is when I made the executive decision of wanting to upgrade and change my facial structure, in particular my teeth. Because someone had once told me, if there's something that you don't like or love about yourself, either learn to love it or fix it so you can learn to love it when it's at, at a better form. And that's exactly what I did. So that's when I made that decision. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. I had a huge fear of going to the dentist um, growing up as a kid just because of the needles and the fillings and all that stuff. And it's, it just developed into this huge fear that, that was in, ingrained, sub, ingrained, that was ingrained subconsciously into my mind. And as a result of that, I lacked a lot of confidence. I lacked, I had this idea that whenever I would network or connect with someone new, that I would always see their eyes look at my mouth immediately. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, like I, they don't have to say anything. I already know, like they already just sussing me out. Like, look at this buckled cunt, he can't even take care of himself. And, that was enough for me to make that decision. It took uh, about 25, 26 years to, to realize that. But once I had that picture in my head, I was like, that's it. What, what action steps can I take in order to start loving this part of myself? Because it's, it's me. It's, uh, it's my personal brand. It's, it's the face of myself. So just like anyone else, um, you want to be able to look at your best and to be able to present at your best, whether that's at work or with family or socializing, um, meeting someone new, you know, going on a date with a girl um, or whatever the case may be. And I knuckled down, got the braces in. Um, it didn't even hurt. <laughs> the only times it did hurt was when the uh, the first, I would say the first few weeks when the, the wires started pulling everything, pulling the teeth and starting to create that alignment because um, I got braces on my upper and bottom. Now the three benefits. The first one, I noticed immediately my confidence skyrocketed. How do I know this? Because of the, thankfully I vlog and I film myself, which is something that I will talk about at another time, but just a little crash course on that. Once I started to film myself more often and document my life and my travels and my experiences, I started to see how I behaved. You don't really get to see how you behave unless you start consciously filming yourself. So I had a feedback and loop system that I saw and I was like, okay, I didn't know I did that. I didn't know I um and ah so, so often. I didn't know that I, um, See, again with the um. There are a lot of things that I wasn't aware of. Why? Because I'm so used to myself. It's like a fish in water. The fish doesn't know that they're in water. Like, it's like when humans don't know that, that they're in a lot of stress until you pull them out, send them on a holiday, and they realize 40,000 feet up in the air, like, fuck, I needed to take this holiday a long time ago. That was the experience that I had, uh, firstly, with my confidence, because I started to see myself smile more. That was something I never did. That was a game changer for me. The way that you smile it just ripples into your physiology, into your posture, the way that you speak to people, the way that you deliver messages. Everything started to, to blossom, or I should say I started to blossom a little bit more. That's the first thing. Uh, secondly was the barrier of zero fucks given went down, meaning I started to do things more without any hesitation. I had built up a lot of, I built myself into this box where I thought I wasn't capable of doing certain things. One of which was working out. I can let you know right now, what, as soon as I got my braces from that, that period in that first year, I lost 25 kilos. 25 kilos, I went from 90 just down to 65. And I'm very thankful because I was able to network with a like-minded individual who at the same time, just a couple of months before I got my braces, he got his braces. 
and he was a couple of steps ahead of me in what I envisioned myself to be. So I started to surround myself with this individual. By the way, this is Chris, my boy from, uh, you would have seen in the Thailand travel series, um, when we were traveling around all over Thailand in the midst of COVID. Again, zero fucks given. And that's where I started to give myself permission to do a lot of things. I started to work out. I was introduced to like stretching and yoga, um, ice cold showers, um, the Wim Hof method. I started to experience fighting, Muay Thai, kickboxing, normal boxing. It opened up my mind into MMA, into UFC, and that's something that I, I religiously watch on a regular basis now. As a result of that, my confidence also grew. And yeah, it's just, it, it was just a ripple effect of, of things where, you know, one fed the other and fueled the other. And I started to see, the, the way that I see it, there's levels to this life. So fucking elevate. And that's what I was doing. I was elevating like nobody's business. And thirdly, one of the, the last benefits, there's many more benefits, but I'm gonna highlight just these three. So the confidence, the zero fucks given. Nutrition was the third one. Nutrition, health, lifestyle, all of these things. Once I started to realize that I needed to fuel my body with, the, with, with appropriate foods and nutrition and minerals to sustain the lifestyle that I want, um, because now I was starting to work out more, I was starting to um, do more sparring, I was starting to do more drills, more kickboxing, more Muay Thai, starting to redline my body like I had, I hadn't redlined my body like this ever in my life. Being able to now self-educate myself on water, sleep, meditation, visualizing. These are things that I generally knew that they are good for you, but I now started to apply it into my life on a regular basis. That rippled into making sure that every day I'm you know, intaking uh, enough amounts of probiotics to, to make sure that my the stomach is the second brain. When you fuel your stomach with the appropriate nutrients, foods, liquids, your stomach will start to align with your mind and you'll start to feel better. In a sense, you're healing yourself with, with those elements and properties. So one in particular, obviously it was the food. Secondly, it was obviously about the quality of sleep, not the quantity, but the quality. Thirdly, it was about nutrition, supplementation. Supplementation was a huge one for me. I. I'll just turn around, you'll be able to see that I have vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, magnesium, uh, sorry, omega-3 with EPA and DHA, magnesium, folic acid or vitamin B12, turmeric, on my probiotics as well. All of this in conjunction with a great healthy balanced food plan, um, I was able to now understand, okay, great, if I want to start building muscle but getting a little bit more leaner, I don't need as much calories, but I can consume a lot of protein. So I started to diversify my my nutrition into different types of proteins from, from plant-based to, to eggs, to steaks. Steaks, so-and-so because of braces, it's a little bit hard, um, but like, beef as well as chicken and just a, a various amount of other different types of proteins and um, I started to understand that not only did it help me with my lifestyle, it helped me with my teeth because I was starting to consume less sugars, less artificial things. The only sugars that I started to intake on a regular basis were from fruits and I would make sure to make like my go-to smoothie is a couple of ice cubes like a handful of blueberries why because it's blueberries is brain food it's a superfood so they say I would add a scoop of whey protein or if my stomach wasn't feeling uh, the best I would go for vegan for plant-based protein then I would add a scoop of peanut butter with hemp seeds in it add a pinch of cinnamon maybe a frozen banana or a fresh banana if I have one available and mix that up with ice cold water or coconut water. I started to blend these, these things up and you know, and add, adding collagen. Collagen's also been a game changer as well. Where I'm going with this is just because of the 1% change that I made, it impacted 99% of my life. There are a lot of other benefits that I can go through like I've mentioned, but those are the three that stand out to me. If anyone was to ask me, what are three things that have benefited you since you have obtained your braces. I can say comfortably and with confidence, the first one being confidence, secondly being the zero fucks given where I have now given myself permission to do things that would not I would normally not be able to do and thirdly would be the nutrition and, and, and health uh, and just as of recently I've quit smoking as well 
So I'm just shy of three months of not smoking at the moment and it's been a game changer. I've also deleted social media as well. Shit, I didn't know who won the election until yesterday. And I think that was all wrapped up a couple of days ago when someone asked me, you know, did you, you know, you know, Trump's not the president, Biden's won and all that stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool. I couldn't give a fuck, but yeah, fair enough. This is what it is, stock market's gonna be volatile, but yeah, and they're like, you know, you know, watch the news. I'm like, nah, man, I haven't watched the news in five years. Social media, nah, deleted that. Just, I don't need that. I've, I've, I've got my, I've got my books, man. I've got my curriculum that I'm building at the moment, and that all intertwines of uh, that catalyst of getting my braces. So if you're in a position where you feel like you don't, there's a certain aspect of your life that, or a part of your body that you don't like or you don't enjoy, you've got two things. You've got to learn how to love it which you can ask yourself, what are 200 benefits of that body part serving you? And by doing that, you're gonna be neurologically hacking your mind into seeing the beauty and the love that you actually have for that body part. Or secondly, if you can't be fucked on that, fix it. We're in a day and an age where we can do anything. Fix it, or love it, or do both. But with that being said, guys, I hope this, is, this information has been of value to you. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to apply to braces. This, this can actually cover any other aspect of your life. Take the time to understand, uh, you know, what is it that you don't like about yourself? And there are going to be things that you con subconsciously you may have, but you're just not, you're not seeking for it. I, I dare you to challenge yourself and find what those things are and do something about it. Because at the end of the day, this here, you this is you like this is your representation of who you are you are a byproduct of your decisions you are your choices essentially so make the right one make the ones that are going to serve you make the ones that are going to serve you to serve the world because whatever it is that you decide to do in life you're here for something profound whether that be being a great father a great mother a great brother a great sister a great colleague a great person that helps out with charities an individual who knows everything about walking, an individual who knows everything about books. There is genius within, within you. Once you start to ask yourself quality questions, that will determine the quality of life that you have. So I dare you to challenge yourself and explore that thought, flirt with that thought, and you will find something in there that will make you think out of the pattern and break that pattern that you might be currently in that's causing a little bit of stagnation. Stagnation meaning you're not moving, you're, 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 you're spinning in the wheels, you're spinning like in the, the hamster in the wheel, you're going nowhere. So yeah, um, until next time, you all know the drill. Love, peace and uh, chicken grease.